Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode number 129 of Fluke Fridays. What we're going to talk about today is the Fluke battery testers, the BT521, and how do you use them? How do you set up a string of batteries to test? How do you actually take the readings and um, how do you set up pass fail tests and different things like that? So we're going to jump into that and then there's going to be another video part two or whatever. There's going to be a whole series of it um, that I'm going to go to the software. We're going to show you how to make a report and how to document that you've actually done these battery tests if you're doing them to stay in compliance so that you have record that you're doing them. So let's jump into it. Okay, we're going to start by turning this thing on. Turn it on. Um, you can see we've got both our impedance reading and our voltage right here on the screen. We've got it set up for auto save. We can set up a threshold for pass fail. I'll do that here in a second. But the first thing you're going to do, if you want to do a string of batteries, you want to hit meter slash sequence, this button right here. You hit that. And now we jump into it. I'm going to bring this close to the screen so it's a little easier to see maybe. Yeah. Okay. So we can do new. So by hitting F2, we got new, create, and we want to do a name. So we're going to edit that. And I'll fly through this for us. And then we hit done. It is a UPS. If you want, you could call it something else. UPS is fine. A lot of you guys are going to be doing a UPS or some kind of starter battery banks, if it's for generators, whatnot. Device ID, you can choose that. Battery string, how many of them you have. And number of batteries. We do want to edit that. I'm going to edit to my demo board of 18. Okay, I'm just going back and forth and up and down to do that. Hit confirm. Battery type. Whoops. I just started it. Okay. And we're going to do threshold. Got that. 23. Okay. And for my demo board, I do need to be in a different range. It's... uh manual right now i don't know if we can do auto no you just hit click through to the range you want so what i want it in 3000 milliamps and we're going to jump into this so we've got like i showed here is threshold we got the pass fail that we've got there so we're good there and we're on the first battery and as we go it's going to light up now i'm going to show you how i actually hook up the test leads on this first one and you can hopefully Listen to it. See those readings out of the side. Yeah. And there we go, we passed. Um, I'm going to show you also this smart screen. So now it has it on number two. It's ready for number two. It's giving you temperature and whatnot. We'll show you that in the reading. And then I'll cruise through the rest of it. My editing software kind of took that out, but what that just said was pass, and it'll tell you pass or fail based on your threshold all the way through. Okay, so we can see we've got some warnings and some fails through here. The warnings are the exclamation marks. The fails are the X's. And we have taken everything we need. So now we can uh, 
Also go through and hit the straps if you want to do the straps between all the batteries. Um, just hit save. Back to battery. Good. And yeah, that's everything. I believe it is already saved. We can go back to this. will be saved. That's what we want. Continue to surface. And then we can double check this. We can switch into load YouTube load. Continue and we can see everything we have. Okay. So we, we did it all and I will show in the next video how to connect to your phone as well as how to do the software. So hopefully this was helpful. This shows how you can use this to test batteries, whether you're doing a UPS or whether you're doing a string of batteries for a startup um, backup generator, maybe the startup batteries. Um, so really cool. And we just went through it for you. If you watched one, three of these videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next week.